Hello, beloved friends. I'm Reverend Kira and uh, honored to be sharing this potent time on our planet, this time of deep potential for us to rise into more of who we know ourselves to be and to claim our true spiritual power. We have such an example from our way shower, Christ Jesus, Jesus the Christ, and in acknowledging that there is this incredible movement that happens in our inner experience during this time of heading into the Easter season. This week, we're heading into Palm Sunday and to represent this idea that Jesus knew what it meant to enter in peace. Are we willing and able to rally all of our different senses and all of our different thoughts into a divine unified whole that knows that there is one God and one presence and one power in this universe and that I can enter that kingdom of God consciousness in peace even in the midst of all the turmoil and all the experiences around me. You know, Jesus knew what was to be foretold of his experience over what we call this Holy Week, leading, leading into his crucifixion and resurrection for Easter. And as he came to Jerusalem, he allowed himself to rise above that thought process about that worldly experience, about the ways of the world that are often fickle. They often, one moment they're for you, the next they feel like they're against you. It feels like there's always this good, bad, right, wrong. Um, and I think that he understood that there was this unified possibility, this awareness of God consciousness that we can access in our own being. He understood and he taught us all that the kingdom of God is within you. And what we're to understand is that when we go into that kingdom of God experience, call it the queendom of God if you prefer, that awareness of the heaven consciousness and live from that place, that all the things that are unfolding are in divine order. We begin to see them in the divine awareness, that there is something greater happening in the demonstration that we are here to hold the truth and the faith and follow that inner peace and that inner awareness through surrender and, and bring forth this greater experience of what really is being uh, demonstrated in this experience that we're in. He knew that as he headed into this Easter experience, he knew what was to come. He foretold it to his disciples. You know, we have those disciples of thought within us. And we'll talk more about that this Sunday and what that represents as we open to the experience of Palm Sunday and what it means when they're shouting Hosanna and what it represents in terms of our consciousness. For we are being called to rise in these times, to enter in peace every experience, every thought, every feeling, every action, all the ways that we express God consciousness in the world, Christ awareness through us. Whether we call it light or love or presence, or whether we call it the infinite awareness, the Buddha consciousness, we are being called to say, let us unify ourselves in communion with our divine awareness. And as we do that, we have the ability to surrender over those uneasy thoughts and rise into this place of peace, this heaven consciousness right here and now, regardless of the outer circumstances. And as we do that, we open ourselves to also enter in peace each moment and bring that peace not only into ourselves and our body temple, but into the world in a way that transforms it. I hope you'll come join us this Sunday, Palm Sunday, at Unity Bay Area, Houston, 1911 Highway 3 South in League City, Texas. Or join us online. We're here on Facebook every week or we're on our YouTube channel, both under Unity Bay Area, Houston. We are here to unify ourselves and together we create a wave of peace that transforms our inner and our outer experience. And I hope you'll be a part of that with us. We at Unity Bay Area Houston celebrate you. We celebrate life. 
we celebrate every experience that takes us into the deeper awareness and opportunity to express more of that Christ consciousness, that divine oneness with one another. So we will let love prevail and move through us this week. And into this holy week, we take in a sacred experience of realizing the reverence in all of life. May we feel that infinite peace and allow it to move through us and light up our lives, our experiences, our relationships, all that we are and all that we do. God bless you, friends.